Hey everybody, Carl Jones here, and we're gonna do a little uh, Sparta Allegheny Jam banjo video. And I'm just gonna do the three chords in the key of D tuning. And remember our open strings, we've got a, the fifth string, the short strings, an A. We got a low D on the fourth string, another A on the third, a D on the second string, and an E on the first. And we get that D chord by getting that second fret, second finger, First string, the three questions, right? Which string, which finger, which fret? So first string, uh, second finger, and the second fret. And that gives us a nice, and you want to really play all the strings of the of the chord. So you can play the first string as a, as a note and a brush afterwards, second string, third string, and the fourth string. Just see what those all sound like, you know? The G chord, we're gonna have the third fret on the first string with your third finger. Right, and the first string, and then you go over two strings to the third string, first finger, second fret on that third string, and that, that sounds like this. And listen to all those strings. That's a G chord, and your G note is that first string, but you can pick that uh, first string and a brush, second string, brush, third, and a low string. Sounds pretty. And the A chord is gonna be the second string, second fret, second finger. And you skip over to the low string, that fourth string, first finger, second fret. And you get the main partner of D there. And let's listen to those three strings. First, second, third, and the low. Right? And then you're back to the D chord. So just strumming with a thumb strum. Listen to those three chords. D chord. Four strums. The G chord. Very pretty. And the A chord. You could do thousands of songs with those three chords. And what I want you to work on is playing, uh, let's just try that using that second and third string a little bit and have my D chord and I'll do like the second string in a brush and then the third string. You get a nice, like a guitar backup almost, so two and three, right? So you got a D chord. And let's go to the G chord and do the same string. See what that sounds like, so two and three, sounds pretty good. And the A chord, let's try doing the opposite, three and two. So we get that A note first. Ah, it sounds good. Back to D, two and three. And you could throw that lick in there. So D chord, two and three for our bass pattern. G, two and three. Sounds good. And the A chord will go three and two. And back to D. Also use that low bass. So experiment, but just get those left hand fingers working good. D, G, and A. And practice them over and over and over. And you'll be able to play thousands of songs. Great. Have fun picking that banjo. Good deal. <laughs>